Greetings from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this Tuesday of the after the third Sunday after Pentecost. We continue the story of Moses who had run off to uh, Midian to hide from uh, Pharaoh after he had killed an Egyptian. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. He had led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Oreb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the, in the flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it would did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called out to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this Moses hid his face, because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt, I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them out of that land to a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Pezorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. And now the God cry of Israel has reached me. I have seen the way of the Egyptians are, are oppressing them. So now go. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will send with you. I will, I will go with you, and this will be a sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will be worshiping God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? What shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you're to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to Israel, the Lord your God of your fathers, the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. The name you shall call me from generation to generation. Go assemble the elders of Israel and say to them, the Lord your God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob appeared to me and said, I have watched over you and have seen what has been done to you in Egypt. And I have promised to bring you out of the land of your misery into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Pizrites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. The elders of Israel will listen to you. Then you are to tell the elders, you are, then you and the elders are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us take a three day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. But I know the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels them. So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all wonders 
that I perform among them, and after that he will let you go. And I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed towards this people, that when you leave you will go, not go empty-handed. Every woman is to ask her neighbor and anyone living in her house for articles of silver and gold and clothing, which you will put on your sons and daughters, so you will plunder the Egyptians. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his holy word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you always are concerned about your people. We thank you that you send leaders among your people to lead them out of the wilderness, to lead them out of bondage, to lead them into freedom, to lead them into truth. We thank you and we are proud to be members of your people. Grant that what we do today will be a testimony to your power, might, grace, and mercy, and will give you praise forever. To God be the glory. Amen. Mm -hmm.